wife fed up with husband's long hours, then overhears daughter's conversation. When most of us plop down for dinner, we don't take time to think about where it all comes from. Our fresh fruits and vegetables are delicious, but they come at a large price to most farmers' families. A sacrifice of their family bonding, their bodies and their time is soon forgotten after our plates are served. That's why one farmer's wife shared an important realization about her husband's line of work after a frustrating night getting the kids fed and ready for bed. The farmer's wife, Katie Spence Pugh, was exhausted from a long day at work, then an even longer evening spent caring for the kids. Once again, without the help of her husband, Eugene, who was still working away on the fields. At first, she was frustrated. Then, she had an epiphany. Katie shared her thoughts about having a farmer husband on Facebook. I snapped this picture the other night at the end of a long day. I was tired. I was irritated. I had sent my husband a text telling him that I knew it wouldn't make a difference, but I wanted him to know that I was feeling fed up with how much he works and with all that I have to do every day by myself. Full-time job, cooking dinner, bathing kids, weekend trips without him, keeping up a home, you name it. I was resenting it. I have to have these little moments once, okay, several times, throughout planting and harvest season. Then this happened. It was the busiest time of the year for Eugene, but he had to muster through it for the sake of his family and their business. Instead of being frustrated at his wife's semi-aggressive text, Eugene sat down for a quiet bite to eat. He just wanted a bit of solace after a long, grueling day tending to the farm. He came in, fixed his plate, and sat down to eat all alone. He was tired, he was hot, he was exhausted. Rather than complain, he said he was sorry I was tired and felt that way. Charlotte joined him and talked his head off and even ate most of his dinner. He didn't complain. He shared and it hit me. Do I wish we saw him more than an hour or so a day? Yes, but the love he has for his craft is something to envy. Farmers work in a thankless profession. It's always non-GMO this and organic that. And let's not even talk about the stress from Mother Nature. This is a man who is working to uphold four generations of blood, sweat, and tears and showing his children the value of hard work and discipline. So, while I felt frustrated, I really should have felt thankful. I got to sit down to dinner and hear all the stories from the day with the kids. I got to give them a bath and hear the squeals and giggles. I got to snuggle and love on them for three hours more than he did. He is the one sacrificing, not me. We will keep on keeping on until the next rainy day when we get a few extra hours with our hard worker. In the meantime, the next time you slip into that comfy cotton shirt or eat delicious farm fresh food, thank a farmer. Where would we be without them? If it wasn't for families like the Pews, many of us wouldn't have the farm fresh produce we consume on a daily basis. Even if things get difficult for them, Katie and Eugene will have each other to lean on for support. There will be no more frustration in their home.